What's up guys? We got a cool little project we're going to do today. Something I've been wanting to do for a long time. And we're going to give it a shot. I don't know how it's going to turn out. But, we're going to see how this goes. Stick around. <laughs> What's up guys? We are here at the, the Beach Bluff Outdoors headquarters and uh, we're getting the paint, getting some paint on the building. Started working on some trim and whatnot and uh, run into some things that I really need a second pair of hands for. But uh, So I thought we'd stop and we're going to do a project that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Uh, it's probably something I will eventually do bushcraft, so to speak, in the, in the woods. And you can do this with all natural materials. But while I was at the Lowe's, I went ahead and grabbed some materials, just some square stock, 2x2, two two, uh, and a 1x2, and a bow saw blade. I've got an old bow saw that was rusted up. I dug up out of some scrap, and uh, I was really going to try to do a restoration project. That was my plan, anyway. And I've been watching a lot of uh, Dave Canterbury. Everybody knows, of course. And just a lot of bushcraft, uh, Corporal's Corner, making bushcraft bow saws. And uh, because I've changed my pack and how I carry in the field, uh, because I'm getting more and more primitive, not really primitive, frontier fur trapper style, uh, like I, I, I carry black powder firearms now. I made my own possibles bag. Um, I no longer carry modern backpack equipment. Uh, I went to a uh, haversack. So, what's something that you could carry? And we decided on this. So, we're going to try to do this the old-fashioned way. And uh, we're going to get started. Alright, well I didn't show you this part. The first thing I did was I went ahead and cut my... My, this will be my two main, you know, sides. So, uh, I didn't really show that because, honestly, I didn't know how long I wanted them. You know, you got to figure out your grip. And you're going to have a cross piece in here. And from here to the, the blade down here will be your only real limits as far as the thickness of wood that you can cut. So, I went with about 20 inches. Um, I think common is anywhere from 16 to 20. Uh, 20, th this 20 just really felt better to me. But what we're going to do is we're going to sketch out the design. Uh, all we're going to do is put like a, a curved head on it. And uh, we're going to take these corners off. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm probably not going to show you that because it's just going to be time consuming. Uh, and honestly, I'm just going to sit here and whittle on it, so probably not going to show that. But we're going to get started on this and get the main pieces. You know, these will be the two sides. The blade will be down here. There'll be a piece in the middle, and then you'll have a string that'll cam it together. But we'll get, we'll get all that together, and I'll show you show you what we look like. You know, when we come back. All right. Well, I got the first handle, uh, somewhat round, but I planed off the corners and. Yeah, it's kind of round. But we're going to take this and we're going to trace it onto that other one. Um, and all we've used is a, used a corner plane, some sandpaper, and a half round rasp. Um, that's it. So we're going to trace this one onto the other one and we're going to knock it out. And then from there I may try to get the rest of it on video because it'll be... I guess some things I need to explain, but we're going to carry on for now. All right, so we got both of them shaped, both handles shaped. And uh, what we're going to do, so, you know, we got them both the same now. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up about halfway. And uh, we're going to cut a mortise and tenon. So, take your mortise and tenon gauge, set your depth, 
you know, however far you want it. And scrub you, whoop, scrub you a line on there. So I'm gonna make my measurements and uh, get that marked, and then we're just gonna take a, a handsaw, you know, cut the shoulders out on the, on each side there, and come down and out. So we'll make a vertical cut, and then we'll make a horizontal cut, and uh, and then we're just gonna trace it on here. I'm gonna measure up. I'm gonna get the length. I know these are 20 inches, so we're gonna come up 10, and uh, we'll just chisel that out with a wood chisel. So we're gonna get on with that, and we're gonna take our handsaw while we're at it and just make a cut in the in the across the base here. We'll lay the saw blade on here. You know, figure out the thickness and. Make a cut that depth, uh, no big deal. Now I don't have. I actually bought me a bracing bit, so I don't have a hand drill. So I'm gonna use my power drill. Y'all forgive me. But uh, drill a hole for the the blade. You can use a dowel. I actually bought some bolts with some wing nuts because the idea is to be able to take this apart and carry it in your pack, right? And uh, so anyway, we're going to get on that, and I'll show you what we end up with in the next step. Alright guys, oh, getting tired. So I got my handle shaped, cut my little crooked, man these things are crooked. My notches from my blade, went in and punched my holes, did that with a cordless drill. Um, made my notches from my cross piece. What we're going to do, is we're going to put the blade in here. See if we can line these holes up. And we're gonna throw a wing nut on it. Um, I may go back and get some uh, two and a half inch. I think I got three inch, uh, quarter by 20. But it'll work. Just uh, what they call a pan head. Uh, now, the million dollar question is does this other notch line up? Because the first one didn't. Had to go back and cut it. And this is a pain in the butt, y'all. Part of the problem is I didn't clean the holes out. But, oh well. Through the magic of video editing, this shall look like it was no problem. Man, I'd hate to be doing this in the woods. My life depended on it. But this is the first one I've ever done, so. I guess if you knew what you were doing, this would be rather field expedient. But, I digress. Now, that's what we got. We're gonna get some string, and uh, I'm gonna use number 36 bank line. We're gonna make us a loop and find us a toggle. I'll be right back. All right. <clears throat> Made us one, two, three, four, five loops. Got them up here in this notch. Uh, just cut a little bit too much line. 
You just tuck that over out of the way. That's not really important. What we're going to do in this stick, any stick will do. Put it in. We're going to twist. All you're going to do is just twist that up, and that pulls these in tight, which pulls these out, outward, um, tightening the blade. And as you can see, the blade is now good and tight. That is my first attempt at a frame saw, y'all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do y'all think? I like it. So, that's going to wrap it up for this one. I've always wanted to build one. Uh... You could do this in the woods, which I will probably do next time I'm out at the cabin. Uh, waiting on my bracing bit to get here. So I don't have to have us be relying on power. But uh, just cut you some uh, hardwood stakes, baton you out some this cross piece. Or hell yeah, I guess you could leave it around. But anyway, there it is. Pretty cool little project. So, I appreciate you checking it out. I'll add this in the how-to playlist. Check out my other how-tos. I'm not going to put a little card up here or nothing. Uh, Y'all know me. Y'all know my playlist. Check them out. I appreciate you watching, guys. I love you guys. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for everything you do for me and Beach Bluff Outdoors. All the links will be down in the description. As usual, merch is still available uh, through Teespring. Check it out. I bought a couple things for myself. I really like it. Uh, they, they got good products. So, check it out. Show me some love. I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.